This is Docker GUI running on my Android phone without root access. Running Docker is crazy and we already did in this video. But that is only CLI. So in this video, we will install in GUI for Docker which is also known as Fultainer. And the best part is that Fultainer is also a Docker container. But you may have questions like what is use of it, how fast it is and does it even worth installing it. So as I already said in Docker video that you can install it and learn it right from your phone without any need of PC. And for speed, it is decent. And my device doesn't have high specs but still it works fine. So if you don't have PC and want to learn skill, so it is definitely worth installing. So with that said, let's go to Termux. And for this, you need to have Docker installed in Termux. If you don't have, check out this video. Now before turning on our virtual machine, we need to make a small change in our launch script. So just open it with nano and here we need to forward one more port to access GUI. As Protainer is a web based GUI, so we will use this port to access it from browser. Now just save it with Ctrl F Y and enter. Now just start the machine, we we'll log into it and we will connect to it with SSH as KMU just suck. So as we already have docker, we will just start it and then we just need to execute this command and this will install and start port inner on this port which we already forwarded. So give it some time to do the things and it's done. To check that it's running, execute docker ps and here you can see we have port inner running. So now just go to the browser and go to localhost colon 9000 if you want to access it from other device just enter the device ip address instead of localhost now here if you see anything like this saying timeout don't get scared just go to the box and execute docker ps and this is the id of put in the running just copy that and execute docker restart and paste the id then get back to the browser and here create your username and password and getting started and there we go here is docker GUI and this is the local docker demo on running so just select that and here we can manage our docker containers network text and almost can do everything which can be done with docker CLI so if I go to containers here is the portainer running and we can manage it from here but for now Let's add a new one. So just click on add and you can search for docker container from here only. And then just copy the name and make the changes as you want. And deploy the container. And that's it. We just installed a new docker container. We can delete, stop, start, restart and everything can be done from here only. And you don't even need to remember that docker commands for CLI. Everything can be done from here only. And subscribe to get more videos like this and comment below your thoughts about this.